Am I the asshole if I go to my younger daughter's wedding? My younger daughter, Haley, 28 female, is marrying my older daughter, Jennifer, 30 females, ex-fiance, Sam. Jennifer is mad at me because I'm going to Haley's wedding. She says that I'm condoning her sister's bad behavior as always, but that's simply not true. When the wedding was called off and we found that it was because Sam and Haley were dating, I called Haley immediately and I asked her to rethink the relationship. Not only for her sister's sake, but also because if he could do it once, he could do it twice. And I didn't want her to get hurt. She reassured me that that wasn't the case, that they were meant for each other and had known this for a long time. So I left it at that. I spoke to Sam too. He apologized for any hurt he may have caused, but said that it wouldn't be fair to marry Jennifer when deep in his heart he knew that he was in love with Haley. They've officially been together for a little over a year now, and they truly seem happy and in love. My husband is supporting Jennifer. He is disgusted with the whole situation and doesn't want anything to do with it. At one point, he announced that he wouldn't be giving Sam his blessing or walking Haley down the aisle. I don't like what this household has become. This is the first Christmas we haven't spent together as an entire family. I don't like the situation any more than my husband or Jennifer do, but they don't understand that ignoring the reality of it doesn't make it go away. When he said that he wasn't walking Haley down the aisle, she was devastated. I asked my husband if he was willing to risk his relationship with Haley by not walking her down the aisle. Jennifer accused me of trying to twist him to my side. I told Jennifer that it's not about sides. It's about learning how to forgive. I've told her that it's been over a year now since her and Sam broke up and she's been bitterly jumping from relationship to relationship because she's so focused on Haley and Sam and that if she never learns to forgive them, she will never be at peace. She says that I don't understand that Haley purposely stole Sam from her and that she's been doing this since they were kids and I just never noticed. I told her that she should have told me then. She said that I should have been paying closer attention and noticed it. I told her that she had to learn to let go of certain things in the past in order to move forward and that if he steals Sam as she claimed, then Haley did her a favor. She didn't want to hear that, but it needed to be said. I also offered to put her on a three-way call with Haley, but she declined. Then she gave me an ultimatum. She said, if I go to the wedding, it means Haley was my favorite child all along and that she'll never speak to me again. I told her that I'm going to the wedding, just as I would have gone to hers if she was in that situation. She said, okay, and hung up. Later, my husband calls me from work telling me she's called him hysterically crying. So... Am I the asshole if I go to my younger daughter's wedding? Am I the asshole for not wanting my dad to walk me down the aisle because he's in a wheelchair? About three years ago, my dad was injured in a really bad hit and run car accident. He broke just about every bone in his body and it left him paralyzed from the waist down. Our relationship has always been really good, but I hate seeing him in pain and admittingly try to avoid seeing him because it just makes me uncomfortable in november i'm getting married i've been with my fiance for four years and he and my dad got get along really well naturally the discussion of who was going to give me away came up in the family group chat and i kept silent after i realized my dad would be in a wheelchair We always talked about him giving me away and having a dance at my wedding and I don't want to be reminded of what could have been my wedding. I messaged my mom privately and told her I want my uncle to walk me down the aisle as we are incredibly close. 
She naturally asked why and I told her that my dad being in a wheelchair would add complications to the wedding. The walkway would have to be widened to accommodate his wheelchair and he wouldn't be able to hold my arm or give me a proper hug. She was outraged, called me an absolute piece of shit and removed me from the group chat. My aunt has since called me telling me my dad is absolutely devastated. So am I the asshole for not wanting my dad to walk me down the aisle because he's in a wheelchair? Am I the asshole for suggesting that my sister choose an easy love? My younger sister and I were very close when we were young, but not so much now. A fairly well-to-do Hindu family. I fell in love and I married a Muslim man and I had to convert to his religion. My family was really pissed off that I converted, but we have kept in touch. Recently, my sister announced that she was in love with a guy she'd met while trekking and that they had plans to marry. My mom invited me for a girl's day, just me, her, and my sister at my parents' home for a fun day. My sister began to talk about her fiancé, how they hated each other at first, but then they fell in love, etc., etc. I was happy for her. It all began when I asked what religion he was. Imagine my surprise when she said that he was Hindu and the same community as our parents. This would mean that it would make my father absolutely over the moon. I asked her if she was sure that she loved him because it seemed unbelievable that she would meet someone from the same small community as our parents and fall in love. She got angry and told me that she was absolutely sure she was in love with him. I suggested that maybe she thought she was in love because it was easy and there were no challenges involved. I explained to her that if she was truly in love, she wouldn't choose someone so obviously a match it was as though our parents chose him from a catalog she told me that it didn't matter she loved him and that's it and i was being rude i told her that i wasn't i was just looking out for her and didn't want her to bear the brunt of societal expectations on who to marry then i asked her if she was marrying him to appease our parents At this point, my sister blew up on me and began fuming that she was not a kid, she didn't need to appease anyone, etc., etc. At this point, my mom told me, not her, to get out of the house. Later, my sister told me to never contact her again, nor ever see her face or come to her wedding. She called me toxic. I was just looking out for her. So... Am I the asshole for suggesting that my sister choose an easy love?